Excellent. Let's get moving on this uh, awesome and super exciting video on the Create New SharePoint Portal features. Um, we're here at the Microsoft 365 feature demo show, uh, whatever we call the show. Um, but this time we have Caitlin uh, joining us on showcasing something really, really cool about SharePoint video pages. So Caitlin, can you do a quick intro as to who you are and what the feature is all about? Yeah, thanks. Um, hi, my name is Caitlin Helms. I am a product manager on the SharePoint Pages team. And today I'm excited to talk about a feature that I've been working on that we're calling Video Pages. So with this feature, we're introducing four new templates that allow users and authors to create pages and news posts that showcase videos. And it's really exciting. Not only are we introducing these templates within the SharePoint ecosystem, but we're also, for the first time, allowing video page creation and news post creation from outside of the SharePoint ecosystem from the Stream web app itself. So it's really exciting. That actually is really cool. You showed me that before we started recording. And it's an awesome example how we are now introducing the SharePoint UX bits and pieces outside of Microsoft 365. And I love the fact that we are, you know, it's Microsoft 365 ecosystem rather than isolated applications. So this is a really good example of the direction where we're heading. Um, but I guess it's easier to understand what we're talking about if we jump into the demo. So let me adjust a bit on the screen uh, recording and, and move, move on Caitlin's screen to see what's available and how does this work in practice. Thanks. Yeah, so I'm going to go through video page creation, both from the SharePoint uh, site and then also from Stream. So I'll go ahead and move on over to Stream. Here you'll see the Stream web app, and the Stream web app is showing a video that I have stored on a SharePoint site. When I click the Share dropdown, you'll now see a new entry point that says Create Video News Post. And it is important to note that this entry point only shows up when the video that I'm looking at is located within a SharePoint site and it's located within a site that I have editing access on. So once I click the Create Video News Post entry point, you'll see a little modal pop-up that tells me exactly what I'm about to do, I'm about to create a news post for the video on the site where it's stored. After clicking Get Started, I then hop over to the SharePoint site and you'll see a new template picker experience. Within this template picker, you'll see the four video templates that we've created. There's Starter, which is a pretty basic template. There's Training. There's Recap. And then there's also Message. And on the right, you're seeing a live canvas of what the template and the page will look like when I go onto the editing canvas. So after I, I, I sorry, I, I can't help myself. I need to ask the immediate question. You will walk through and create the page, but of course, we are uh, these are just templates, so it will create a page mm -hmm. which you can edit any way you want. It's just a starting point. Right. Yes, just a starting point. So this is just a starting point of your page or news post. Once you click use template, you'll then go to the normal, you know, page and news editing canvas that you're familiar with, where you can make more edits and update things as you see fit before posting it or publishing it. Really cool. Really cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So once I've uh, selected which template I want, let's go with the message template. I then can also select whether I want to create a news post or a page. Um, and I did want to call out that this is currently part of an experiment. So you may or may not see this news post or page selection. And if you don't see it, then you are creating a news post by default. And so let's say I want to create a news post. After that, I can then see related documents that might be related to the video that I'm showcasing. Um, and so if I do find any documents here that are relevant and I want them to be on my news post, I can click them. And when I click them, you'll see the quick links are being updated in real time. Cool. Yeah, so once I'm ready to use this template and uh, create the news post, I click the use template button. And then you'll now see that I'm on the uh, editing canvas for, for this news post. Yeah. And now you can modify all of the sections and all of that stuff based on a yep. business requirement. This is really, really cool. Now, immediate first question uh, or two questions. Uh, we can talk about this one, obviously, um, after the demo as well, because I think, or was the demo there? Or do we have other things to show? Um, I did also want to show creating from the site, but- Okay, let's, let's do that first. I will. Okay. 
be silent in a second. Sorry for interrupting there, Kate. No worries at all. So yeah, so that's one way to create the video page or news post from stream, but you can also create them from a SharePoint site. So if you go to plus new and page, you will see that these four video templates are now showing up in the page template picker as well. And similarly, once you create the page, you're taken to the canvas where you can edit all the web parts and content before you post or publish. Yep. And then it also works with news posts. So if you go to the news template picker, you'll see that we also added the video templates here as well. Cool. Yep. Really, really cool. And, and a simple capability, but super powerful. And I love the fact that you're gonna also start by from the video side as well. So this is really cool. And a nice looking templates, by the way, great work on the design on those as well. Yeah, it's really cool that we're able to utilize, you know, the content and the metadata that we've gotten from the video itself and go ahead and populate some of the items within the page. So we're making yeah. uh, the authoring process simpler and easier and hopefully quicker for, for authors and users. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, let me actually move away uh, uh, from the demo mode and a few questions because I uh, there's always a few questions comes to mind. I'm putting it on a spot here. So first of all, uh, what about custom templates? So can a customers introduce their own uh, video templates which they can use? Yeah, that's a great question. So in our initial release, we are not supporting custom templates. We hope that in the future we'll be able to support this. But uh, for now, video templates are only the ones that we have um, created. Yep. yep. And and again, just recapping, we've said that many times, but it's just a starting point. You're able to adjust mm -hmm. the page and layouts any way you want. And the most simplistic one is basically giving you just a video and a few sections here and there under a blank page uh, to edit things. Now, the second question, I'm not sure if I know that this is not really your area, but what about the API support? Can these be created using an API? Um, I do not think so right now, but we are hoping that, you know, in the future, we'll be able to showcase these video pages separately as entities that show up in, you know, feeds and um, news. And so you're able to say, hey, show me all of the video pages or video news posts on the site and they're able to, you know, surface there. So that's definitely something that we're looking forward to in the future, but not for now. And if I remember correctly, I've seen the DC Padur's work on the Pages API. You would be able to create pages, sorry, video pages, if not already today, but soon using the Pages API. So yeah. uh, thinking of scenarios where if you have external videos stored already somewhere and you want to migrate them over to the SharePoint platform, you would be able to move them over and then create pages based on the content. Uh, one way of just automating. Uh, things as well. Any any other other kind of uh, future steps or or things which we have in the roadmap? Yeah, so we are looking to revamp our template experience all up. So we're looking to create new templates across pages and news, which some of which will include the video page and video news templates. Um, and then also we're looking to revamp our template picker experience as well. Uh, no promises, no dates yet, but that's something that we are looking forward to in the near future. Yeah. Definitely. Awesome, awesome. And, and and it's always this one step at a time. Things are evolving. We are introducing, based on customer feedback, we're introducing new features, capabilities, for sure. But I still love that we're seeing so much new stuff on the SharePoint portals and pages all the time. So thank you, Caitlin, on also helping there as a feature PM. Yeah, thanks. But I guess that sums up the video uh, on the intro on, on that particular feature. So thank you, Caitlin. A really, 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 really cool video uh, or a feature and not the video necessarily, but well, the video is cool as well. Anyway, doesn't matter. So a uh, really cool feature, but thank you for joining on the show. Um, and um, please, 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 anybody who's watching this, please provide feedback. Uh, we always implement everything what we do within Microsoft 365 SharePoint based on the customer feedback. So thank you for that advance. Thanks. Thank you.